Okay, this is Jeff, uh, W6FCC. I'm going to do a real brief demonstration of some common rookie problems. First thing you want to make sure in ICOM remote control is when you right click on this blue remote, set it up for mic USB so that when you shut down RSBA1 you can use the microphone on the radio and when you're using RSBA1 you want the USB to be the controlling source for the audio. So that's done by pulling this box down and picking that. Now you can return control back to the uh, radio by just turning off this remote button and now if you went over and used your mic it would work. You do this again you probably hear a click in the radio and now you're back to using uh, the USB port. Now there's another spot where you can have a problem. You go over to ICOM remote and you click on the mod button let me do that, mod, and you're going to get this screen. Now these two choices will cause problems. Let me pick this one and I'll transmit 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 3, 2, 1, no audio. If I bring that back over again, go back to mic, say close, now I transmit, testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 3, 2, 1, you can see we're modulating. Now here's another source of an error. Down here in mic set, you click on it with the left mouse button, and if this is not on USB but is on like mic, and you transmit, testing one, two, three, nothing. Click this thing again, and you put it onto USB, and you now you transmit, testing one, two, three, you're back with the microphone. These are simple rookie mistakes as to how to uh, cause your system not to transmit. But uh, again, put this in mic USB up here. Make sure that the mod select is on microphone. And make sure that the mic set down here, left click, is on USB because this is the source of audio. You may find it sometimes flips to ACC if you've set things incorrectly, but that has to be on USB. W6FCC, that's it. Have fun.